Over the past few years, we've seen the SUV, that rugged off-roader, take a few lessons in etiquette and finesse. Why? Well, you and I both know that it's no longer just the car choice for off-roaders. In fact, its market has become huge. And when you become the popular kid in town, you're not without your rivals. So, has Mercedes run scared? No chance. They've just put on their game face and raised the bar. I'm Tori, your MB reporter, and this is the Mercedes-Benz GLC. To begin with, the GLC has an all-new chassis and suspension to not just increase comfort, but driving agility and dynamics. How? Well, it has agility control suspension with steel springs and a variable dampening system, all a standard. As well as this, those models with the off-roader engineering package and the GLC 350E 4MATIC come with a 20mm higher driving position for increased clearance. With Dynamic Select, you have five programmes to choose from depending on what you're doing. The Eco Mode integrates a start-stop function and a sailing function to reduce fuel consumption. Comfort provides a comfort-orientated suspension and steering setup. Sport is characterised by agility and driving pleasure, while with the Sport Plus Mode, the powertrain reacts spontaneously to dynamic load changes. And the fifth mode, Individual, which enables the driver to program and store personal preferences. But let's not forget this car's roots. It's crying out to be hurled into the wilderness, which is why it can also come with an off-road engineering package, which also has up to five different programs. Off-road, incline, slippery, rocking assist and trailer. All of which will be absolutely wasted on this road. Mercedes have worked really hard to enhance efficiency. In fact, CO2 emissions have been reduced by comparison to previous models by 19% in diesel and by 12% in petrol. This has been achieved by various drive systems and a much lighter weight design. But this is the really impressive bit. With the GLC 350E 4MATIC, Mercedes-Benz is offering it as a fully plug-in hybrid, the first in its segment with all-wheel drive and those pretty damn good off-roader skills. It can also do just over 30 kilometres in zero emission, all-electric mode. 